We're here bright and early in sunny North London to trial the world's first in-car app that lets drivers pay for services straight from the dashboard. It's the first salvo in what promises to be a long war between car manufacturers and technology groups in a race to turn the car into the next mobile phone. On one hand, car makers are keen to make their new vehicles as digital, connected and future friendly as possible. But on the other, they're wary of losing control of a potentially lucrative new revenue stream to technology groups like Google or Apple. This app, Just Park, lets drivers identify available parking spaces around them and pay for them from the comfort of the driver's seat. Let's go try it out. Just Park will be integrated with the Mini line of cars, a British pop icon that is now owned by German automaker BMW. To test out Just Park, we turned it on on our smartphone, connected it to the car, and Just Park appeared as a function on the dashboard. It shows you parking spots in the neighbourhood, from people who are renting space, to private driveways, and space behind churches and pubs. The driver books and pays for a spot, and then the car's GPS navigation system takes you there. Right. Brilliant. Well, there we are. So the owner of, of this spot has just made about six quid. Six pounds, I think. The UK parking market, we've estimated to be around 3.5 billion pounds a year. Uh, globally, uh, it's as much as 40 billion pounds. So this is a huge market. And that covers not just parking on the street, parking in car parks, but it's also the brand new market that Just Park has opened up by allowing private uh, private property owners. Automakers are under threat from millennials who may not see owning a car as the rite of passage it once was, as well as a host of taxi and ride sharing services like Lyft and Uber that make it easier than ever before to avoid shelling out for a set of wheels. Enriching the experience of driving by using technology might be the car maker's salvation. But with Google and Apple in the race to claim space on the dashboard, who will win most of the profits from tomorrow's cars remains to be seen. Sally Davies and Henry Foy, Financial Times, London.